Okay, we're on Rosh Hashanah, Perik Dalid, Mishnah Hay, fifth Mishnah and the fourth chapter of Rosh Hashanah. And we turn our attention to the Tefillah, and specifically Tefillat Musaf on Rosh Hashanah itself. So in order to understand this, we have to have a little bit of background. Let's uh, go to the background. First, we need to read the Pasuk based on or all this is based on. We see this Pasuk actually in the last Mishnah, in Vayikra, Chav Gemuch, Chav Dalid. Say to Bnei Israel, on the first day of the seventh month, that's Rosh Hashanah, Yelechem Shabbaton, Zichron Trua Mikra Kodesh. It should be for you as Shabbaton, Zichron Trua Mikra Kodesh. Yeah, this is the Pasuk in Hebrew books. If you look at the, so this is the Pasuk, Zichron Trua Mikra Kodesh. Yet, if you look at the Pasuk before, the Pasuk before says, you know, We'll move this over so you can see it. It ends up with the words "Ani Hashem Elokechem," and right after that, it leads right into the next parasha about Rosh about Rosh Hashanah. So let's we're going to see the Gemara. This is the Gemara in Rosh Hashanah, Lamed Bet Amud Aleph. So there's a long Gemara. I'm not going to read the whole thing, of course, because we're learning Mishnah Yomi. But the Gemara says, "How do you know you need Malchiot? Malchiot, Tanya. How do you know Minayin Sheomri Malchiot? There's a Machloket. I'm not going to do the whole thing." Tanya, Rabbi Omer, Ani Hachodesh Hashem Elokechem. It says, I am Hashem your God. Uba Chodesh Hashvi, and then then it goes and says Uba Chodesh Hashvi. Zum Malchut, meaning you can't have. Okay, Zichron. We know what Zichron is. Trua. Where are we here? Yeah, Zichron is Zichronot. Trua Shofrot. But first it says Ani Hashem Elokechem. So you have to have these three things called Malchiot, Zichronot, and Shofrot. Okay, made you a little chart. This is something you need to see in order to understand in order to understand uh, this this uh, this uh, parasha. So these are the are the elements that have to be included in the in the shmona esrei in the in the tefillah musaf. You have to have avot, okay, gvurot. Avot is okay. Avraham lo Yitzchak, magen Avraham gvurot atagibor mechay until mechay mitim kedushat Hashem atakadosh until we say hamelech akadosh. Kedushat Hayom, Mata Bechartanu, Mekadesh Yisrael Hazmanim, Malchio Zichronot and Shofar. Those are the three we know for Rosh Hashanah. And then the ending of every Shemona Esrei, Avoda, Ritzei, until Hamachazir Shchilato, Hoda'a Modim, and they call it. It's called in the Mishnah Berkat Kohanim. We call it Sim Shalom. Those are the ten elements that we need. The question we have in our Mishnah is, where do you put Malchio? Where does it fit? Okay, I'm going to go back to the. Videotape. Okay, we're going to be looking at this. Is from the from the from Wiki's Wikipedia on Musaf of Rosh Hashanah. We have the language of Rosh Hashanah. So just so we see, we have okay, Magen Avot, okay, Avraham, Avot Magen Avraham, Gvurot Mechayim Etim, Kedusha, and it goes all the way until Baruch Ata Hashem Hamelech Hakadosh. Those are the first three. So everybody agrees. That's not a problem. With all this, we can start our Mishnah. Say the brachot. What is the order of the brachot of Musaf? Omer avot, ugvurot, ukudushat Hashem. You say the first avot, gvurot, kudushat Hashem, we said. Then, vekolel malchiot imahem, malchiot, go together with kudushat Hashem. Remember we said, ani Hashem alokechem? This is all machloket in the Gemara. You say malchiot, ve'eno tokea. You don't blow the shofar. Kudushat hayom, vetokea. Zichronot, vetokea. Shofarot v'tokea. Then you say, so we have. I'll, I'm, you're going to see. I made a whole chart. Okay. So according to the Tanakama, according to the Tanakama, okay, the tkiot are like the, we're going to see, like like the second opinion. This is Divrei Rabbi Yochanan ben Nuri. Let's go to my chart. Here I made you the chart. This they're equal right now. Avod gvurok kedushat hayom kedushat hashem. Everyone agrees at the beginning. Avoda hoda'a berchat koanim. Everyone agrees. But here he believes that that malchiot goes with. Kudushat Hashem. Why? Because remember we said, Ani Hashem Elokechem. Malchiot, that's part of the Melucha, is Hamelech HaKadosh, that's what we say. Then you have Kudushat Hayom, and you do Tkiot, okay? Remember that we blow the, the Sfarad and blow the Shofar, Ashkenazim don't blow the Shofar during the Amidah, but at least during Chazar Tashat, okay? You have Tkiot Zichronot, and you have Tkiot in Shofarot. So you have Tkiot, Tkiot, I should write Tkiot normally, you have Tkiot, for these three brachot. Let's, uh, let's give it a color. We'll give it this color. Okay? But you do malchiot and you don't have, you don't blow the shofar. Let's go to Rabbi Akiva. 
אמר לו רבי עקיבא, עשה רבי עקיבא, אם אין תוקע למלכיות, למה הוא מזכיר? Remember, we think this is so normal, but according to the Tanakhama, there were no blowing the shofar with malchiot, because he did it in the first three brachot. So he says, if you don't have tkiot in malchiot, the whole point of being hamamlich et Hashem, one of the re- ways we acknowledge God's kingdom is we blow the shofar, do-do-do-do, here comes the king, like the trumpets. So if you're not going to blow the malchiot, then why mention them? Ella, says Rabbi Akiva, Omer avot ugvurot ugudushat Hashem. Okay? You do avot, gvurot, kudushat Hashem, that's fine, we know that, first three. Vekolel malchiot in kudushat hayom. Malchiot goes with kudushat hayom, not with kudushat Hashem, not with kudushat Hashem. Vitokea and you blow. Zichronot vitokea. Shofarot vitokea. You do malchiot, zichron and shofar, you blow. Then, veomer avodah vahodaa ubirkat kohanim. Then you do avodah, avodaa, and birkat kohanim, you do the final three brachot. Let's put that in the chart. Rabbi Akiva says, malchiot goes in kudushat hayom. It goes here. This is where Malchiot is. You know, let's, let's highlight Malchiot. Okay, Malchiot goes here. Rabbi Kiva says Malchiot goes here. And then he says, but you have to blow the shofar with Malchiot. So you do the Tkiot. So here we have, here we have Tkiot. And of course we're going to add Tkiot. Of course we're going to add Tkiot here and here as well. Now, it's just interesting. We know that this is the, we know that this is the way we do it. This is the practice that we have. We do Malchiot, Tichonot, and Shofar with Kushat Hayom. But it's not obvious. It is more obvious logically that Malchiot would go with Yushat Hashem. But Rabbi Akiva says, no, it's better for Malchiot to be with Kiot. Which would you pick? Would you pick Rabbi Yochanan ben Nuri or would you pick Rabbi Akiva? That's a really interesting question. Does the, Malch- the Malchiot logically goes with Yushat Hashem? Remember, the bracha ends with Hamelech HaKadosh. So if you end with Hamelech HaKadosh, that, that's Malchiot. You want to add it in, Melech HaKol HaAretz, V'Kadesh Yisrael V'Shabav Yom Azmin. It's a little bit of a mishmash. If we go back to the, back to the, to the text of the, of the Musaf itself. Let's just get your bearings. Baruch Hashem HaMelech HaKadosh. That's the end of the third bracha. Then we start at Tabachartanu. Tabachartanu, we do the, we, did, we have the Korban. Okay. Umin Chatam. Ola, Zeicha the Masei Breshi. This is like all the Musaf that we were familiar with. We're from, familiar with for, you know, for the, for, for regular Musaf. And then we just kind of stop, take a turn. Aleinu Neshabeach. This is Malchiot. We had Aleinu. So really, it doesn't fit as well. And the end of the bracha also is kind of a little bit strange. Baruch Hashem, Melech al kol haaretz, Mekadesh Yisrael v'yom hazikaron. Okay, we're used to it, but Malchot really makes much more sense if we would go back and say, Baruch Hashem, HaMelech HaKadosh. So the difference between, we can understand the difference between Rabbi Yochanan ben Nuri and Rabbi Akiva. And even while we, while we know we pass them like Rabbi Akiva, this is how we do it. Nonetheless, the logic of Rabbi Yochanan ben Nuri is very compelling. We'll stop here, it's very long. We'll remind you all that every mission is available each and every day on mission.co. We're thinking of making a podcast as well, maybe a video podcast. I'll dedicate a learning to the memory of my father, Rav Simcha Ben Yitzchak Kalman. Have a great day.